Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very, very well. So we're currently in the car right now on our way down to... We are going to Homewood Bath. That we're going... is located in Bath. <laughs> we're going to Bath. I wonder if our daughter is going to say Bath or Bath. I'm hoping she says Bath. I'm hoping she says Bath. Bath is good. It's, it blows my mind that our child is going to have a northern accent. Like, I just never visioned that yeah, the day I'd have a baby and, like, you know, raise my child that, that, they would have, that they would have a Manchester accent. I wonder if she will have, like, a strong Manchester accent then, because you do, but... It depends where she, who she's around, isn't it? Like, she probably won't... Have, it won't be as strong as mine, because I'm from Salford and I grew up in Salford. Yeah. Whereas she's going to grow up in, like, Cheshire area. <laughs> she's going to yeah. be all posh and pretty. <laughs> Can't this see. was the worst time to start. I literally hey. am... <laughs> Can you see? <laughs> Can you see? Can you see? I don't know if I'm driving into the arch or not. <laughs> That's better. So yeah, we've got a cosy car set up right now and we are heading down to Bath, which was actually a little surprise trip planned by Tommy. He told me yesterday... Um, she we didn't were... believe me. I didn't believe him. You just like, suddenly decide to book something and then it's I love it though that's like my favorite thing um I thought we were going to London because we had mentioned a couple of times that we might go for like a Christmassy weekend in London Bath is quite sentimental to us isn't it I mean I say it's sentimental we've literally been once and now it's suddenly sentimental what is going on with this light I my retinas are, are really hurting also I know my face is starting to get swollen and it's upsetting me because I feel like this whole time I've I feel like I've kind of avoided the swollen face and I woke up today and my cheeks are so red and my face looks like a moon and it's bothering me slightly. We have touched down in Bath and honestly, I mean, I wasn't the one driving, but I really, really do feel like the journey was actually so fine. I'm just gonna do a little room tour quickly because we're already making it messy as you know, standard, standard Tommy and I were making it messy, literally we've been in here five minutes. Um, so I'm just gonna quickly show you around. Here we have the bathroom. Tommy has already managed to christen the toilet. Tommy looks like he is after straight after doing the deed because he has been in the hot tub. Yeah, I've been in the hot tub, believe me, I've not done the deed. <laughs> he wishes he'd done the deed. I wish, but I haven't. No, um, also I bought my pregnancy pillow. Did I tell you guys that in the car? Um, but yeah, I bought the pregnancy pillow and this is the setup. How cozy. So this is the view out of our room. We have like our own little terrace area, but the full moon tonight, I literally can't get over it. And if you come around the corner, we have our own hot tub. I did just lift up the lid to show you guys the hot tub, but my lens just got so steamy. But we have our own hot tub. Obviously I can't go in. Um, I didn't actually know that when I fell pregnant, that pregnant women aren't really meant to go in hot tubs. Um, but you're not really allowed. So yeah, Tommy just had a little dip, but the view out here is just unbelievable. I can't go over that full moon. Obviously on the camera it looks terrible, but um, there's like all countryside views out here. We've got a dinner reservation at eight. We're just gonna have dinner at the hotel um, this evening. So happy to be here. And I just love this room so much. It just feels so cozy and so nice. Watch us. <laughs> Why don't you just get it played? Because I don't want to sleep. <laughs> so guys, we both got burgers and I'm whispering because the room that we're in in the restaurant is very quiet. Molly is suffering with excess gas. Most people like to call it trap wind. Um, so I've told her peppermint tea, a couple of laps, and fart as much as possible. I wasn't able to have a single bite of my food. Why are you whispering? I don't know. I wasn't able to have a single bite of my food. I've never felt so unwell in my life. The trapped wind is unbearable and it gets worse every day. I don't know why I'm holding these boxes, but that's my food. Good morning, guys. So, it's a new day. Sorry I didn't close the vlog off last night. We 
just watched films in bed, didn't we? And Phil? well, At Tommy like nearly things. snapped the remote in half because the remote for our TV wasn't working. And it took up most of our night trying to change the channel. Oh, quick question. Do you want to eat breakfast here? It'll it be finished included. now, it'll be finished now. <laughs> to think that he would think that breakfast is still on when we've made it out of the room. What time is it? Half, Half 11. 11. It could be still on. Mm, I don't think so. Um, so basically guys, we, the plan for today is we're going to head into Bath and we're going to grab some breakfast, lunch, some brunch and just see where the day takes us really. I'd like to see if Bath have like Christmas markets, I'm sure they probably do. Um, and if they've got Christmas markets, then we'll have a little look around there. Do a little bit. We could do some Christmas shopping actually for our family and stuff. Yeah. Because I've not done, I've not even started that yet. And Christmas is actually in like two weeks. Um, but yeah, that's the hotel in the background. It's literally so cozy. And also, I'm a little bit, bit upset because back home they've had snow. And as much as obviously it looks like we've had snow here, but that's actually just frost. And it's the cat's first snowy Christmas. They're going to be jumping. Well, it's around. the cat. Oh, no, it's not the cat's first Christmas with us. No, it's not. It's like number two. No, no it's not. Yeah, it's number two, yeah, because I just got them last Christmas. Um, do you think that lantern looks like the one off Narnia? Uh, yeah, it does. I'm oh, wearing... It's going to take us. It's going to take us to Sweet Kingdom. Yeah, we want to go to Sweet Kingdom and get pick and mix, because that's what we did last time. Also, babe, show them my new bag. The outfit of the day, looking... Suave. <laughs> looking very pregnant today. Um, Tommy felt um, the baby move so much last night, didn't you? I did. It was so good. Jumpsuit is from a little bit back. Jumpsuit is from Adenola. Trainers are Nike. Coat is ASOS. Scarf is Acne Studios. And then bag is my new bag that Tommy got me for the baby shower. Not for the baby shower, but just hey. gave me the baby shower. All right, let me just do the outfit of the day. Go on, stay. I'm going to be serious now, right? <laughs> okay, okay. So okay. shoes, obviously, Dior, yeah. Nike socks, essential yeah. joggers, yeah. Um, plain black Primark tee. Love that. And the coat is, I believe, it's his column. Okay, but you've actually worn it every single time I've vlogged in the last sure. basically year. I don't really wear it other than when it's cold because they are really good puff coats, so I do recommend it. <laughs> and also, I've not even shown you Tommy's new car yet. Um, this is Tommy's new car, and I keep saying it's like a proper... Dad car. ...cool dad's car. I mean, is it really a cool dad's car? I don't know, but yeah. Um, he got himself a G-Wagon, and... It's the nicest car for, like, weekends away and days out, and also soon in the back there'll be a little baba seat so we were literally saying that yesterday we were like oh my god i can't believe that like next time we go on a little staycation she's gonna be in the back it's gonna be so cute it is gonna be crazy updates updates so we have been driving around bath now for the last so hour five minutes okay i was gonna say hour, oh, hour. hour and five minutes. <laughs> hour and you wouldn't find a parking space even if you had a smart car like i swear idea. and why don't we park back at the hotel and just walk. <laughs> it's only a 35 minute drive. Wait, Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. What? No, that's, no, this is fine. This okay, 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 okay. I'm get. I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting a little, I am getting a little bit upset now. This is busier than Oxford Circle. <laughs> Circus. Circus. Not circle. I'm and out. you know what's so embarrassing as well? People have probably seen our car now do laps of bath about a hundred times. Yeah, it's annoying. People probably think we're doing it on purpose. I'm, listen, there's nowhere to park in the town, so I'm just going to turn left here and try and get some side streets. Really? Yeah, we'll, we'll get some steps in. Okay. I feel like you've been handling this very well. If it was me behind the wheel, West believe I'd have snapped five times by now. We have arrived and it's beautiful. We found a parking space. Tommy's doing pictures <laughs> in the middle of the road. We found parking, can I get a hell yeah? Hell yeah. I didn't think it was gonna happen at certain points, but we've made it guys, and we've parked legally and sensibly. We've paid and displayed, and now we are ready for a shopping day in Bath. Beverly Hills. <laughs> <laughs> we worked as a team, guys. No one's going to want to buy that now. <laughs> Make sure you get the one with the golden ticket. Yeah, which one has the golden ticket inside? Is that what you are so funny, aren't we? Hilarious. If you're wondering why there is absolutely no footage from us 
out shopping in Bath. So we didn't have time. No, it's not. It's because I've never in all my years experienced a busier environment than this. This is obscene. And there's lots of cute little seagulls. There's lots of cute Christmassy markets and stuff. Cute seagulls. But I couldn't show you because it's we didn't too... Have time. No, it's not. What, where are you getting this from? We've had plenty of time. Oh, no, we have It's too busy. Like... Right. The, the busyness is obscene anyway. I wanted to show you so much more in, in this, like, whilst we were well, you out. You couldn't show much more, could you? I couldn't. Because there wasn't actually space to, like, lift my arm up to even vlog. Sure, that was the problem. <laughs> um. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yep. Is your name Tommy Fury? No. Well, you look like him. Can really? I please get a picture? No. Uh, okay. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Good evening. Turn that down, please, whilst I vlog. Last clip you would have seen, we went to this really, really adorable pub and we watched the football, which didn't really go the way we hoped. England lost, obviously, and to be fair, even though neither of us care about football, well, it's not that we don't care about football, we're just not into football. You would have thought that we were, like... Avid watchers. We, we'd, like, were obsessed with football. Like, when they were doing, like, um, penalties and stuff, I literally... I couldn't breathe and I thought I'm going to go into labour in a minute like that's how nervous I was and I've never ever really cared about it before. We went to the cutest little pub well first of all I took us to a pub that was it literally looked like something out of a horror movie didn't it? Yeah. We walked in and then Tommy went oh gosh I've just got to go and take a call and then went outside and I never followed him back. and then we never went back in. So then we drove to another pub um, and they had like a projector like you guys saw the projector above the fireplace we got some food um, and it was so cosy and so lovely. You look very cosy. Anything you want to add about the day? We've had such a nice day, haven't we? I just always say that these little trips are just the best. I just tried to give her a little bit of a de-stress time before the baby comes. Oh, you know. what was that, babe? I don't know. I think the TV's broke. Um, um, de-stress, yeah. But I wasn't stressed anyway. But No, it's... but I wanted to give you a weekend just for the pampering, being away just before the baby comes because everything's going to be hectic come, you know. <laughs> End of January, early February. It's going to be hectic for you too. Please show everyone what it's like to try and turn the volume up on this TV. Really? Is everyone ready? Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, you did it, you did it, you did it, you did it. Basically, you can only do it if you do it like Lord Voldemort holding his the Elder Wand. Yeah, yeah, exactly. As well as obviously elephants, as you guys know, Tommy and I actually have an obsession with pandas. After elephants, it's like our second favourite animal. Um, and we were, when we were at the Christmas markets today, this is actually the only thing we picked up. This is a size naught to, um, no, six months. So she won't be in this for literally ages yet, but we could not get it, even though I don't really plan to dress her in things like this. We couldn't resist it. Um, so yeah, Tommy treated little baby girl to her little panda romper. Actually, I forgot to tell you guys what happened yesterday. I had to not have my dinner yesterday because my trap window's been that bad. Um, the plate of food came and I showed you guys and basically I had to ask the waiter to come over and take the food away because even looking at it was like sending me under so badly so he boxed it up for me and I didn't even have a single bite of the food um and the burger was really expensive like the restaurant wasn't cheap and I felt really bad because I didn't even eat it when he boxed it up yeah my trap window's been so bad recently yeah it's absolutely disgusting I wake up every night like this <laughs> no you don't I do no I, I don't normally have stinky farts it's just because they get all trapped and then when they come out well, do you know what I need to do in the future? Just slide the glass door open and go and release your house outside. <laughs> Bagger! I'm dreaming of a white oh. Christmas. Go on, babe. Just like the run Wow, guys. The snow fairy visited in the night. I literally can't believe this. We woke up so late. 
and I opened the curtains and I was like, oh God, it's, it's snowed and quite a lot. Today I have gone for absolutely no makeup. I've put some moisturiser on, I've got some lip balm on, I've slicked my hair back again. I actually had one thing I needed to get yesterday when we went to the city centre and that was shampoo and conditioner because the shampoo and conditioner, last time we stayed here, I used the shampoo and conditioner that come in the shower at this hotel and it turned my hair like bright yellow and Emily, my hairdresser, was like, if you ever do that again, I will literally kill you. So I need to get a proper shampoo and conditioner. Also, I'm hoping that basically my gums bled so badly this morning. That's been like a huge pregnancy thing for me is bleeding gums. Um, so if you can see blood in my teeth, Looks so lovely but hopefully you can't the plan today we don't really have one i think we're going to head back into the city center we're literally crazy why are we doing that why are we heading back into the city, city center like it's going to be hell on earth um but yeah these are the scenes it looks so nice oh, i dreaming uh -huh. I was just saying that, are we crazy going back into city centre? Like, what's wrong with us? I definitely think we are, I'm not gonna lie. Like we, yeah, but what else? We don't know. We want to get like a nice brunch. But I think we go, I think we just find somewhere. Oh, but babe, it's not like that. Like, you don't, we don't know, we don't know Bath. We That's just, what the internet is for. I know, but we'd just be driving around. Like, look what happened yesterday. I thought I found the best cosy pub to watch the football. We turned up and what was it like? Hostel. I thought we were going to get murdered. Um, on the TV that was half flickering on the wall. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't even on the wall, it was on the chair. It was on the chair. <laughs> <laughs> I called the persist place up and I was like, are you, are you, like, can we watch the football here? And they were like, yeah. And then we got there and the, the, what they meant was that they propped a TV up on a chair anyway. Um, I've used full, I've used the facilities this morning outside our room um, in like the little reception bit. They have like a fridge where you can take like, oh, that's the snow. <laughs> drinks and snacks. And I got a smoothie. And a flapjack. This is in case um, we have no. Go no, no, I'm all empty. Now. Okay, this is in case we have no luck with finding brunch, but I'll keep updated. Breakfast. Breakfast. This ice latte is 10 out of 10. Really, really great. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. it. Guys, it's really snowing. Annie. What? I said it's really snowing. <coughs> no? It's hilarious. So basically guys, we're back in the car again. I thought I was taking Tommy to some like rustic town. I, I, bas I basically just that. keep failing. Like you keep saying to me like, oh, just Google somewhere to go. And then I do. And then it's, oh, anyway. Boy, I'm going to. Where are we I don't know, next? wait, stop pulling out because you don't know what we're doing. So you just, you, you got a little bit of a snap there guys. You got a little <laughs> bit of a snap. Not the full thing, Listen. but a little bit. I'm allowed to snap, I'm pregnant. Okay, so POA, we can either go into Bath City Centre. Right. But obviously it's gonna be hectic as hell. And we gotta face the music. So we can go into Bath City Centre. Right. Do some Christmas shopping, which I would, that's what I'd like to do. Basically, it's really, really snowing right now. Like, Santa baby, baby coming, coming down the, the chimney, chimney tonight. tonight. Whoa, for me. I won, I won, we are in Bath City Centre, we are parked up. The car park said car park full and Tommy just went, I'm going to risk it anyway. And then we pulled in, literally basically knocked the sign over that said car park full. And, <laughs> and it was a, a, like a, the perfect space right there in front of us and we just whipped it in. So pretty happy right now. Hopefully it won't be too busy and hopefully I'll be able to show you some bits of the Christmas markets this time because... Well, yeah, probably not. Watch out, Bab. Good spirits all right. Jingle, wingle. Jingle bells, jingle right. bells. I've just been listening to a Christmas playlist in the pyramid? car. Whoa, what did you get from Hollister? I've got some PJs, <laughs> got some bars, got some bombs, got some hip huggers. <laughs> hip huggers. <laughs> got some hip huggers. We've just been in Hollister <laughs> and I've uh, spent a fortune. And I'll tell you guys about my obsession with Hollister at the minute when we get back in the car, but. I'm really loving Hollister at the minute, guys, for all the basics, the Christmas PJs, the soft, stretchy clothes through pregnancy. And Tommy is carrying my bag for me, like a very lovely boyfriend. Holly hanging across the door, neighbors singing tales of yore. It's so close, hardly can wait. Waking up on Chris. Shock horror. 
Tommy was right, I was wrong. Going into Bath was a terrible idea. We were literally there, I'm not even joking, for like 20 minutes and we were like, yeah, we need to go. It was so crazy. I went to Hollister, picked up some cute bits. I'll show you what I got. And now we're at Starbucks on the motorway, uh, just grabbing a quick drink. And I think we're gonna try and find somewhere for a roast. A nice cozy pub, thank you. Oh, that's cute. Smells good. Shall we wait for you over there? Yeah. That looks good enough to eat. I got a little gingerbread man. You didn't get any cream. I'm cream. Cheers, monkey. <laughs> Yeah, we got white hot chocolates. Any good? <laughs> Spiffing? Very good. And you're gonna have a cinnamon bun. Yum? Mm. Yeah? Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. Mm. So good. Starbucks whipped cream used to be rubbish and then they changed it and now it's really good. Lovely. I need to bring you guys up to speed with the plans and what's going on, but I just need to show you this epic film. Um, so I told you all that we went to Hollister and that I've been loving Hollister at the minute, but basically I picked up some clothes and like the size that fitted me two weeks ago now does no longer fit me and this is what we're dealing with. These are a large bottoms, but Anything that's like restrictive over my stomach at the minute is just so uncomfortable. I just can't bear it. So it either has to be able to go over my stomach and sit here, but be so loose that I can literally pull it out like really, really stretchy, or it needs to be underneath. But even underneath, it feels a little bit too tight. So yeah, I mean, I've got a whole bag full of clothes in these sizes that are probably now not gonna fit, but I have been loving Hollister nonetheless. Um, I went into the one in Trafford Centre the other day and picked up so many Christmas pyjamas. If you've seen me wearing Christmas pyjamas on my story recently and have been asking me where they're from, that's where they're from. Yeah, actually to update you guys on the plans, Tommy is packing because we have decided. Oh, started. Babe. Sorry, we've decided to depart um, the docks. Depart from Bath. <sighs> oh, Tommy. Wow. Yeah, basically to give you a quick update, we... Oh, love you. We... <laughs> no, you do. <laughs> Tommy just walked into the door. Um, basically, we had booked to stay... Tommy had booked to stay another night, but he actually was the one earlier that suggested it. I think you'd suggested it when you were a bit huffed and puffed from the, the Bath City Centre experience. He was like, should we just go home tonight? Um... But it's genuine just because it's month. It's month. Oh, no, I'm to be honest. You know me. I'm always up for getting back. But it's Monday tomorrow, and Tommy and I are quite big on like Monday is like the start of a new week. And if we travel back tomorrow morning, which is when we plan to travel back, we'll probably sit in traffic all morning, and then you know it starts the week off badly, and we'll probably have like crappy food from a petrol oh, station. Be at oh well, there you go. He'll he'll miss training. I think we're gonna just like pack up, hop in the car and get ourselves back and I did want to wear obviously a nice cosy outfit for the journey home the nice four hour journey home but it doesn't fit me um I did also get some pajamas which I'll probably put on for the journey home but my bump is huge is getting really 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 big I'm still like managing it absolutely fine it still doesn't feel like I don't know I still really don't feel like crazy pregnant but 32 weeks guys Woohoo! This is my bump. Um, just getting really, really big. And like, it's rock hard. Like, that, like, before there was quite a bit of sort of movement. But this is literally completely, what well, to be fair, it looks quite squidgy when I'm squeezing it. But to me, it feels solid. Um, I want to try and breathe in. What's with the arms? I don't know. Breathing in looks like this. I don't know if I'm going to have enough footage to make this into like a full vlog um, and close it out here um, from our little weekend away in Bath, which I have literally loved so much. We were sat in this little pub before and um, we were going to go for a roast, but me, Tommy and I were sat in this pub. We were the only ones in there and like loads of like sad love songs were playing and Tommy started crying. Didn't you, Tommy? Bye.
<laughs> we both got glossy eyed staring at each other listening to love songs in this pub in front of an open fire and we were the only ones in there and I don't know it was just quite an emotional moment and one that I'll never forget over and out from us a lovely weekend in bar thank you very much for taking me away I'm going to see you live with a kiss. See you live with a kiss. Greetings, guys. Weirdly, I have just sat down at the kitchen table and edited this whole bath vlog. And for about 10 days, I'd kind of decided that I wasn't going to put this vlog out. And I suddenly just like was watching the footage and actually thought, no, I am going to turn this into a vlog and I am going to put it out. <laughs> I don't know. I know it's not the best vlog ever, but I just wanted to put it out for the memories. You guys know I love creating videos, um, obviously mainly for you guys, but also for Tommy and I to look back on as memories. And I just feel like that little weekend in Bath is going to be so nice for us to look back on, like in a year's time when we've had the baby and stuff. But yeah, I had the nicest time in Bath. <coughs> it was so busy. It was so crazy busy, but... Um, it didn't spoil it, like, even though we couldn't really enjoy the city centre the way we wanted to, we still just had the funniest, nicest time, and um, I honestly just treasure weekends like that so much. Tommy and I just always truly value time like that, like, weekends when you make, like, really cute memories and you talk about it in the years to come, I don't know, it just means so much to me. It's a Saturday night right now, I literally could just upload it now, like, and screw the algorithm and just... Because Saturday night is not a smart time to upload. But I'm also putting a video out tomorrow, so maybe I'll save this one. Um, so, as I'm discussing in this video that I'm 32 weeks pregnant, when you're watching this video, I'll be quite a little bit more on, with, on than that. Um, yeah, I don't know when this video will be going out, but... Gosh, guys, I really don't have long left, and it's freaking me out. Like, I do not feel... Like, I'm still not... It still doesn't feel real yet. When does this feel real? No one tells you that. Like, oh, like, when you fall pregnant, it's not going to feel real the whole time until the baby is in your arms that's what I literally feel like it's gonna be I just don't think it's gonna sink in until she's here anyway I have another vlog to edit now I know I've gone quiet for a few a couple of weeks on my YouTube but I'm back again now if you made it to the end of this video then I love you millions and hopefully I will see you all in my next one bye